you and the president are both talking about producing energy here, saying that oil and gas companies have 9,000 permits to drill now. They could be drilling right now. Would President Biden cut red tape to make that possible? What red tape needs to be cut when they have the permits, uh, they have the capacity to do it? What's holding does, them up? Does President Biden think that each of these 9,000 leases that are available have oil or gas in them? Because industry experts are saying that uh, that accusation is, is a complete red herring. Some permits are viable and some are not. And that when you say that, this represents a fundamental misunderstanding as to how this process works. Well, first of all, the nearly 60% of leased acres remain non-producing. That's a lot uh, in the range of 20 million acres. So there are 9,000 uh, unused approved permits to drill in. They should not require that. Should not require us inviting them to do that. They should do that themselves. They can't get the, the additional permits. So would the president? What additional permits do they need? There's no. The, they have the leases are there. The permits are there. I don't think they need an embroidered invitation to drill. That is, they are oil companies. It's what is what is happening? What is happening? But look, what is ha the permits have been granted, Peter? What is permit, what is happening mm -hmm. here is that we are seeing these are private sector companies. We recognize that. Many of them are making record profits. We see that. That is all publicly available data. They have pressure to return cash to investors and their shareholders. What we're saying right now is there is a war. We're asking them to, to uh, go uh, use the, the approved permits, use the unused space, and go uh, get more, more supply out of the ground in our own country.